Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to solve double inequalities. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help, you use Minute Math. A double inequality has, well, just that, two inequalities within one statement. Our problem here says solve negative 4 is less than or equal to 3x minus 7, which is less than 8. Graph the solution and write the solution in interval notation. So let's go rewrite this inequality, this double inequality. Negative 4 is less than or equal to 3x minus 7 is less than 8. Well, normally, if I, let's say, ignore the negative 4 is less than or equal to, and I just said that 3x minus 7 is less than 8, I would add a 7 as my first step to both sides. But we have two inequalities here, so we actually have to do it to all three sides. And that's really the gist of how to solve these. You want to add whatever you're doing, the <laughs> operation has to go to all parts. So, moving on, negative 4 plus a 7 is a positive 3. Is less than or equal to, well, just the 3x comes down, these 7s cancel. 8 plus 7 is a 15, and we have less than 15 here. Same principle applies here. We have multiplication between the 3 and the x, so we divide all parts by 3. The 3's in the middle cancel, great. On the left hand side, we have 3 and 3 cancel again, we're left with 1. So we have 1 is less than or equal to x, which is less than 15 divided by 3 is a 5. So now we want to graph this inequality. Let's look at a number line here. We're ranging from 1 to Five here. So let's start with uh, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Now again, like my previous videos, I like to graph above the number line here. It shows up better. 1 is less than or equal to x. So we have 1, we can equal 1, so we have a closed circle. We also say we have x is less than 5. It's not equal to 5, but it's less than 5. We put an open circle there. And x is between these two values, 1 and 5. So we draw a line between these two. I don't know if I can draw a better circle. Well, there you go. All right. So we have our graph there from 1 to 5. Now, interval notation, same idea. We have, we can equal 1, so we put a bracket here for 1, comma, and we go all the way to 5, but we do not equal 5, so we have a parenthesis. And there we have it. We have we graphed our inequality that we simplified or solved actually, and we wrote our answer in interval notation. I hope you learned something here about how to solve double inequalities. If you did, make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.